How do you come together here? How do you come together here this morning? Whom do you come together? What do you come together this morning? Come all together to receive in your gathering. Amen? Amen. Let us stand. My God is awesome. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weak. Forever he will reign. Repeat us. My God is awesome. Can you say awesome? Awesome. 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 My God is awesome. He's awesome. 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 My God is awesome. Savior of the whole world, giver of salvation, by his stripes I'm healed. My God is awesome, today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living, praise his holy name. My God is awesome, my God is awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, 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 my God, my God is awesome. Do you believe our God is awesome? Awesome, 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 my God is awesome. This says, how great is our God. All will see how great he is. How great is our God. How great is our God. Come on, let's worship him. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Do you believe it? How great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all see how great, how great there you go. Work that is our God. Come on, D. Let's sing that again. How great is your God? I know my God is great. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. All see how great. How great is our God. Name above all names. Name above all names. Worthy of all our praise. Worthy of all praise. My heart will sing. My heart will sing. How great is our God. Name above all names. Name above all names. Worthy of all our praise, worthy of all praise. My heart will sing, my heart will sing, how great is our God. How great is our God, how great is our God. Come on, let's worship him. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great. God. Today we are celebrating another Sunday that we've not seen, which is a blessing. 
So if you are feeling like worshiping our Christ and thanking Him, because every word is worshiping to our Jesus Christ, this is every praise. Every, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one of every praise, every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Let's worship Him. To our God, glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise. Every praise is to our God. Can you wave your hand for Jesus Christ? Every praise. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one of Every praise. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. Is God your Savior? God my Savior. God your healer. My healer, God, your deliverer, God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, yes he, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God, my saint, God, your healer, my, my healer, God, your deliverer, God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. 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 And he prays. Every praise is to our every word, every word of worship with one of every praise, every praise, every praise is to our God. One more time, every praise, every praise is to our every word, every word of worship with one of every praise. Every praise is to our God. Good morning. Today, as we gather to praise Jesus, allow his Holy Spirit to open your heart and draw you into the realm of the miraculous. Let us forget about ourselves and concentrate on honoring him through hearing his words and praising him in song. For we know he is truly an awesome God. Amen. Please Amen. join in reading the call to worship. Praise be to God who reigns above the heavens. Praise be to God who dwells within our hearts. Let the majesty of creation worship in reverence. Praise be to God. Sing praises, sing praises to the King, for He is the King of Kings. Sing praises to the King, for He's the King of Kings. Now sing with us, sing praises to the King, for He is the King of Kings. Sing praises to the King, for He's the King of Kings. Give Him glory, give Him for he's a king, for he's a king of kings. Give him glory, glory. For he's a king of kings. Give him glory, give him glory. For he's a king of kings. Give him glory. For he's a king of kings. Sing praises, sing praises to the king. For he is the king of kings. Sing praises to the king. For he's the king of kings. Sing praises, sing praises to the king. For he is the king of kings. Sing praises to the king. For he's the king of kings. Give him glory. Give him glory. For he's the king. For he's the king of kings, give him glory. For he's the king of kings, give him glory, glory. For he's the king of kings, give him 
Join me in praying the prayer of confession. Your way, O oh God, is holy. Your way was through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock. Lead us forward, not looking back. We praise you, O oh God. Amen. Please be seated. no secret what God can do. The chimes of time ring up anew, another day is through. Someone slipped and fell, was that someone you? You may have long for added strength, your courage to renew. Do not be disheartened, for I have news for you. It is no secret what God can What he's done for others, he'll do for you. With arms wide open, he'll pardon you. It is no secret what God can do. There is no night, for in this fight you'll never walk alone. Always feel at home, wherever you may roam. There is no power can conquer you, while God is on your side. Just take him at his promise to run away and hide. It is no secret what God can do, what he's done for others, he'll do for you. these words of assurance. Great is God and greatly to be praised. Through Christ we are reconciled to God who does not count our trespasses against us. All the ends of the earth know God's name. Come then rejoicing and praising God in awe and wonder and faith. 
This song is about our praising God. How many of you saw the movie yesterday that we saw as a church? Anybody? The one thing that you could sh it demonstrated is how important it is to praise our God, despite what others may say, what they do, because we should want to praise Him. the peace of Christ to each other. Jesus sent forth his disciples with the word of peace. We too are bearers of that peace as we greet others in Christ's name. Please greet your neighbors with the blessing. The peace of Christ be with you. Belongs to you. 
Because of who you are, I'm going to worship you and praise you. Because of who you are, because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Sing with us, church, because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, because of who you are, I'm going to give you praise. You praise. Because of who you are, I'm going to lift my voice. Because of who you are. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, 
rise for the reading of the word psalm 77 verses 1 through 2 and 11 through 20 i cry aloud to god aloud to god that he may hear me in the day of my trouble i seek the lord in the night my hand is stretched out with wearing my soul refuses to be comforted i will call to mind the deeds of the lord i will remember your wonders of old i will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have displayed your might among the peoples. With your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. The very deep trembled. The clouds poured out water, the skies thundered, your arrows flashed on every side. The crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and, sh and shook. Your way was through the sea, your path through the mighty waters. Yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. You may be seated. How great you are, O God. Before your majesty, we are astonished. We praise your holy name. Amen. We want the Lord to honor. We ask him always to, we have so many requests. But he wants us to follow him with love in our heart for others the way we treat others. So this song is about ordering our steps so we show his, shine his light.
want to be worthy. I want to be worthy. I'll do your blessed will. I'll do your blessed will. The world is ever changing. But you, you if you order my steps, order my steps. My, 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 I can see you don't even get it yet. Order my steps in your word. Is that what, is that what, it, is that what you just sung? That's what we just sung. Is that what you just receiving? Mm, you don't get it. You don't get it. But God has a way of shining through. Does he not? Order my steps in your word. Wow. Robin, 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 Robin. Glad that you're standing out and stepping up. My, my, my. Robin comes to us by an introduction. And see what that introduction does to the family where you're introduced into the family amen Robin has Robin has stepped up moved up amen wow is God not good Kim back is back there just smiling from ear to ear Robin is a, Kim, a friend of Kim's Kim initially came to us via Zumba. 
And Robin asked Kim one day, how's the church? And Robin came. Robin is staying, obviously. See, there's the difference of being planted and now gaining your roots. Because God don't want you just planted. He wants you rooted. Amen? My honor, my privilege, I humbly welcome my sister in Christ, Pastor Linda Stanley from Zion United Methodist in Las Vegas, Nevada. Amen? Linda and I have been in course of study this week, but also over the last five years. And boy, 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 we've been tied to each other. Asa, get ready. Destiny, get ready. I'm wearing my stole of which was placed upon me last week of my return back to you here for another year. Amen. Deborah, I don't know who picked it out, but good taste. Amen. It's not only the stole that represents, but it also represents family. And if you look at it and look around, is showing the multiculturalism that we share in the sanctuary this morning. Amen? Amen? I was asked a couple of times this week if I was returning, and then somebody said that they were revoking my card. <laughs> Jacqueline, I was told to get ready because the job that you did yesterday I was told to, but I, it reminds me that it is a thing that to be replaced, Afsa, Destiny, and Jacqueline. Wow. We got hope and promise coming. We got a young adult and a young adult and a young adult. Amen? So all we have to do is get you signed up, get you uh, on the course. Ask the when you're preaching next. Okay. Mm -hmm. William, thank you for doing as I asked that nobody sits by themselves, amen? Kim is feeling a little lonely since Robin has moved her seat, but it's okay. For those of you that are taking notes, get ready. Because there is upon you. You sung Order My Steps, did you not? Order my steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead me and guide me every day, sending your anointing. Father, I pray. Humbly, I ask thee to teach me will, with your will, working and helping me to be still. I just have something that came to me. Well, before I get there, I have a question. How is it with your soul? Is well? You good. Destiny, how is it with your soul? Is well? Or is it healing? Okay. Diane, Jenny, how is it with your soul? I asked this question 
because as we were given it to reflect on this week, course of study, we got it all wrong. Pastor Linda, how's it with your soul? Amen. Reason why I ask this question is the same way of asking you, how are you? And there's a lot of us that are broken and we don't want to admit it. We need healing because of a multitude of reasons. But when your soul cries out, who do you call? Who do you call? My question to you this morning, do you even know my name? Robin said, Vernon, <clears throat> wow. Do you know my name? You just said, sung, order my steps. On this 180th day of 2019. For me, it's 22,810 days. Of which I have an attitude of gratitude. But with that, God asks, do you even know my name? Matthew 16, 15 says, he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Who do you say that I am? Mark says in 829, he asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter answered to him saying, you are the Messiah. Do you really know who I am? My, my, my. Church, this is the day that the Lord has made. while that resonates with you this morning. Let us pray. Gracious and almighty God, as we come to you this morning asking for assistance in mending our souls. But more than that, God, to find out who you are. What is your name? God, we ask that you remove us and instill you. As we come before your children with the question, but yet God, you with the healing you with the education, the wherewithal, in spirit and in truth. God, we need to know your name. God, we ask for the renewing, the revitalization, the hope, and yet, God, your grace. Amen. In your Bible, it asks the question 15 times. And there's a hundred verses that refers to his name. I bet you you know the name of Mike Trout. I bet you know the name of Albert Pujols. I guess you know the name of Corey Bellinger. 
do you know Clayton Kershaw? Colby, Will, Jabbar, Connie, LeBron. Ford, Chevy, Toyota, GMC, Donna Karen, Tommy Hilfiger, FUBU, Levi Strauss, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Gray Strokes, Black Bear. I ask you, do you know me? And how do you know me? Or do you only know me during these times that you want to damn something? Stub your toe, get sick, caught in the act of something you shouldn't be into, or you're just mad as hell. Who am I when I'm not there? Who am I? There is a song by Tasha Cobb says, he knows my name, but I see that even today, we need to stop and understand who he is. Order my steps in your word. It should be God, here are my steps. Do you approve of my steps? Not for God to order your steps. I have given you the book of life and of instructions before leaving this earth. But yet, you say, God, order my steps. Interesting how it goes, is it not? Before even it begins, my life is in your hands. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees me when tears are falling. He hears me when I call. But do you hear his name when he's calling you? <clears throat> the Lord has come over me this week and asked to ask each of you, how is your spirit? But in your spirit, he reminds me to tell you to not be ashamed, to not hold on to it, to not continue into carrying it, to release it here today. To whom? To me. The Son that took your name to the cross, took your name to the cross in the palms of his hands. He knows your name. But do you know his? He says, release it here today because I know your name. He does not want you to be late in delivering you from your afflictions or the weight that is upon you or your stronghold. But yet, he reminds us that he knows your name. But do you know his name? What do you call him? The Messiah? Jesus the Christ. Jesus of Galilee, Jesus of Nazareth, the Christo, Jesus, the Hebrew says it as the deliverer or the rescuer. Do you call him Yahweh, my help?
Acts 4.12 says, And there is a salvation in no one else, for there is no, one, no other name under the heaven among them by which we must be saved. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. Somebody ought to say thank you, Jesus. The name. Who do you call him? If he knows your name as he went to the cross before you were even formed in your mother's womb, why is it that you only know his name in a crisis situation? When you stub your toe, somebody cut you off in traffic. Or you ailing spirit and body. God, I want to tell of your name at every chance I get. But why is it that we only limit of saying his name? Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed him in the name that is above every name. So that the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Whatever you ask in my name, there's a reminder of a hundred verses say to utilize my name, but to know my name. How do you feel when somebody doesn't know your name? But yet, we only know Jesus' name in that time that we want to take advantage of it. How does it feel when someone knows your name? It's warming, is it not? I happened to run into a guy and it says, hello, Steve, how are you? He says, how do you know me? I says, Steve, you don't remember me? We were in the Navy together and we served together. It's good to see you, Steve. He's being, he's very perplexed of how I know him. The people behind him is laughing and giggling. And I said, Steve, remember all the good things that you've done. And all those questionable things. And the people behind him is kind of laughing. Like, what'd you do, Steve? So finally, it came to a point. Steve was standing in a line at the Price is Right. Steve had his name tag on. And he had on a Navy veteran's hat. Steve was a senior to me. But to talk to him and call him by name, his face just illuminated, even though that there was a question of how did I know his name? But I knew his name. That's how we should know God's name. Let God continue to illuminate, radiate as we call his name in love and affection just to say thank you. Thank you for bringing me to this 
case in point of 22,810 days. Or in your case, how many of the days that you served? How many days that you walked? Are you counting the days, not the years, but in celebration of his name? His name. The, 70, the 72 return with joy saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. The demons are subject to you in your name. Name of celebration. Romans 8, 13 says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Who's calling this morning? Who's calling to be saved? Who's calling to ask not to just to be planted, but rooted in that name? In that name, Matthew 1, 21 says, She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. Isaiah 9, 6 says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and a government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The name. The name. I know your name. I took your name to the cross with me. Your name and my love for your name held me to the cross for you. Why? Because I wasn't talking about it, I was being about it. Being about my Father's will for each of you. The love for each of you. John 8, 58 says, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham and I am, I am. And Peter saw it in an address of men of Israel. Why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us? as though by our own power and piety we have made him walk. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, God of our Father glorifies his servant Jesus the Christ and delivers you over all because he knows my name. Yes, he knows my name. He walks with me, he talks with me. He tells me that I am his own. You know my name, you know my name, you comfort me, you counsel me. Yet it amazes me that I am your friend. I pour out my heart to you here in your presence. And I am made new. Why? Deborah, why? Come on, Deborah, tell me why. You know why. Because he's the way maker. Tell us, Deborah, sing it for us. You can get me later, but give it to God now. 
This is what they, they tell me, Linda. There, there's a order of worship, but I don't follow it because the Holy Spirit tells me different. Amen. And when the Holy Spirit tells me and leads me differently, we join you. God not good? Word or music? Song? 
the name of Jesus, your name, dear Jesus, fills my heart when I remember you. The many titles, words, and terms are old but ever new. The name of Jesus signifies salvation of the Lord. For God has saved us by your blood, by your holy words. You are the Messiah of the Lord, the Christ of God's most high, the anointed one who came to earth, whom men would crucify. You are the prophet of the Lord, the spokesman of his will the one of ancient prophecy who would fill his word. You are the priest of God above. You are the sacrifice. You are the priest and the offering all in one. You open paradise. You are the reigning pre priest and prince of peace. You are the king of kings. You are the ruler over the heaven and the earth. You are my spirit. You are the exhausted son of God who came to earth below. The son of Mary, the son of God, a truth that we may know. You were the servant of the Lord. His will, your way has been done. You live to please his loving heart, to be obedient as a son. You are the glorious Lord on high, exalted far above, before whom the redeemed will fall. So last in fear, but yet first in love. You are the great apostle sent from God the Father of heart. Then you are, you are in turn the Spirit in part me. You are the Savior of the world, the lost will come to you to win on Calvary. You've paid the dreadful price to save us from sin. You are the shepherd of the sheep, so good and great of all. You've gave your life to rescue us and lift us up when we fall. You are the teacher we have been taught by. You are the words of life and bread. We eat those words to give life to us. And by your truth, we are fed. You are the precious lamb of God. Your life was given for us. Your blood was shed in sacrifice. Your death vicarious but victorious. You are the one, the one true God. Sinless, pure, and just. You are the righteous son of God. In you, we place our trust. You are the judge of every thought of every word that is said. Before your judgment seat, we fall, the living and the dead. You are the head of whom we live. Your life is ever near. We are your hands and your feet, dear Lord. We are your body here. You are the bread of life to us. We eat you, we live. Your body and your blood 
both given for us that you might freely forgive. You are our advocate with God, our intercessor there. You sit enthroned in heaven above, our mediator in prayer. You are the door we enter and find salvation free. You are the physician of our ills. You are our remedy. You are the light that brightens us when darkness of sin we see. You are the way to heavenly home. You are our only plea. You are the husband. We are the bride. Forever united as one. You are the forerunner in the race of life that we now run. You are the hope. You are our peace. What other words can we employ? You are the beauty of our life. You are the love and joy. You are the creator of all things. And now sustain us all. Through you, the Father spoke his word and made things great and small. You are the word of God himself and with the Father dwells. The word may be fresh. You've came to earth in the flesh to rescue us from hell. You are our God, yet son, you are. A truth we can't define. The son of God are all a mystery divine. You are the beginning, you are the end. You are the first, you are the last. You are the alpha, you are the omega. Lord, the future and the past. Within you, just being Lord, lies riches, oh, so fair. Your glory shines, your majesty is great beyond compare. Each name and word exalts you, Lord. They help us clearly see the truth of your own glory now and through eternity. Richard Holloman. As you go through this week, starting today, go with the freshness of life, love, hope, possibility. Because God's grace is upon you. He knows your name. Part two. If you don't believe me, ask him. Zacchaeus, come down from there. I want to go to your home to get to know you next week. But this week, newness, renewal, refreshing. Why? Because the water, the water reminding us through the bread, I'm only going to give you what you need. Take it. And when you take it, do it in remembrance of me. Get to know his name. Know his name. Know his name. Know his name. 
let us pray. Those of you that need to come to the altar may do so. If you want to light a candle, you can do that as well. But when you light it or you bring it to him today, first call his name. Gracious and almighty God, you know our name. You know our woes, our trials, and our tribulations. But yet, God, we come before you now. We come before you, O oh Lord, knowing a new understanding of your name. Of knowing, O oh God, we do ask you to order our steps. But yet, God, Allow us, through your Son and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, order our steps. Be that of your will, O God. Heal us, mind, body, and spirit. Our homes, our community, our world, O God. Because we have not done your will, your way. But look, God, allow us to start in the newness of this day. Knowing that we need to be our brother's keeper. And as we meet our brothers, let's meet them by their names. In order to give your name. And giving your name in victory. But yet not tarnishing your name, O oh God. But yet polishing it. And as we polish it, O oh God, we lift it up in praise and in celebration. Truth and in love. Now and forever. Amen. Let's give God a hand praise. The altar is open. The table of light is available. When I always feel I'm slipping, always feel I'm slipping through your head. And although sometimes I don't understand.
How you were so forgiving When I feel I'm slipping through your head Is it the fear of what's inside Leads me away from you When all I feel is that I'm a tear Don't know what I should do You think by now we'll be learning Put all of the faith I have in you And all that it proves So much I, I need you I need you, Lord, every day of my life You're always with me Each day of my life Thank God for Jesus So Lord Is that your master plan? You'd always be waiting when I feel I'm slipping through your head, slipping through your head, through your Let us stand. Gracious and almighty God, we lift these gifts up of which you've given us to manage, to present them back to you for mission and ministry. Oh God, we ask that you bless the giver, those who gave and those who wanted to give. But yet God, we ask that you bless all of their hearts as we go forward in this life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. as we get ready to disembark from here. Kim, I'm just gonna put it on you. you you'll, you'll, you'll work it out, I know, amen. Is God not good? All the time. Sister Linda, yes. I hope this day was most inspirational to your heart, your spirit and thank you for visiting with us.
and I'll see you tomorrow back before we've made it. God just says we just have several days to go. Amen? Amen. But that's what mission and journey is all about. We have not reached a destination, but we shall get there. On this day of our salvation, we go forth to praise God everywhere. We have heard and seen God's steadfast love in his what? Amen. We are ambassadors for Christ in whom God's grace is shared with humanity. Amen. Don't just read that and just it. Be the ambassadors for Christ this week, starting today, as we go over to Fellowship Hall and break bread together. Be an ambassador for Christ. Keep doing what you're doing. He's watching you. That's what God is doing with all of us. But when we do it from our heart and our spirit, you have nothing but victory. Go in peace. Go in victory. Go in the celebration of God. Amen. you go come on tell, tell the world that's it tell, tell the world about jesus tell about his love tell the world about jesus tell about his love as you go tell the world come on don't be shy tell the world tell the world about jesus tell about his love Tell the world about Jesus, tell about his love as you go, tell the world as you go.